Hello, welcome back to the Fish Locker Workshop. Now, Fish Locker Junior and I, we are, amongst other things, we're tidying up inside the workshop and we're completing a few new projects for upcoming videos. One of which, someone has asked me to show you how I make our, what are these? What's it stay? Rocket stoves. Now there's a few different names for these. I mean, that is the standard textbook rocket stove. These are the ones that we used to make when we were kids. These are the ones that I've been using for a while. I have been experimenting with, this is almost like a Swedish torch. A Swedish torch doesn't really have all the holes in it. It just, you cut down with a saw all the way down. So it creates like air slits in there. I am making these out of wooden logs that we are cutting up down on the floor of the workshop. Uh, be careful with that. Oh, strong lad. These are, how wide are these? Let me see. Yeah. These are seven inches wide and these are 10 or 11 inches long. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Be careful. Doesn't really matter how big you want to make them. You can make them out of smaller pieces of wood, you make them out of bigger pieces of wood. It just, it all depends what you've got and what you want. What we're also going to use, just leave that there for a second. The tools that we're going to be using, we're going to be using just a saw, a flat drill bit, this is a 32mm, but bigger or smaller, depending on what you want. I have got a hammer drill, and um, to make these, if you have a chainsaw, this is so simple. It's just, it'll be 10 seconds and it'll be over and done with. If you haven't, then I'll be using, I'll be showing you how I'll use a handsaw and a hammer and chisel, just to knock these pieces out. Let's get started. Yeah! Safety first. Yeah! You can make these rocket stoves out of any type of log really, softwood or hardwood. Softwood burns faster than hardwood obviously. These are made out of conifer and pine. We're making traps. We're making traps, Dad. Yep. Right, now, now that we've cut a few more pieces, all I'm going to use is I'm going to just use me, me drill bit. You pick pretty much bang in the centre and you're just going to drill a straight hole all the way down. Now, there's a few other people that do it different ways. You can you can measure it out how far you're going to drill. Like to there, and you'll make a mark. And that's how deep you're going to go. But I just usually do it by eye. Drill a hole, straight bang in the centre of there. As deep as you can. And then we're going to drill a hole from the middle to meet it so that the two holes meet up in the middle there we go let's get to it There you go. You can see, drilled all in the top, drilled all in the sides, and now you can see that they both meet up. Then look, see. Let's see. See. So these two little, these two holes here meet up. The principle being that when you light a fire in here air will go into this hole and feed this fire and it burns itself around in there these extra slits if you cut along it with a chainsaw it's so easy you just cut two slits in with a chainsaw if you don't I'm gonna get a handsaw and you cut parallel and then knock them out with a chisel 
I'm going to put a little bit in here now showing me using it on a recent video. Right, what I've done is I've knocked up a couple of pieces of kindling and this is one of my homemade fire sticks. All it is basically, it's a thin slither of porous wood and I've soaked it in wax. And the idea is to get the fire started in there. Now let me see. Fires started in there. The air goes in that hole there and feeds that flame coming up there. And all I've done is just knocked a couple of screws in to balance the panel. This is what's left after about two hours of burning. I had a cook up on the beach where I cooked some lobster up the other day on this exact stove. And it was literally, it was just one of these. And this is what's left. You can see where it's, the hole was here and there, and these were the slits, and that's what's left. They are fantastic. All I usually do is I have some of my homemade fire sticks, which are just little tiny slits of like pallet wood. It needs to be a porous wood that I've soaked in wax that I used to light there and just add little bits of kindling to it and that is our homemade rocket stove. <laughs> 